So I think the main distinguishing features of the fund are that we have a pretty market focus on one area of the stock market, which is business transformation. Um, we spend all of our time really thinking about those sorts of stories. What does that mean? That means businesses that are thinking about how they're being run and going through a process of management and strategic change uh, to make sure that they get the best out of the business. Other distinguishing features, uh, we sit in the UK or company space. Um, we have a focus on quite cash generative companies. With that in mind, we focus on dividend paying companies only in the process. Um, and that means that we generate quite good income for the fund. So in the all company space where income is not necessarily a focus for most competitors, uh, it is for us. Uh, and we typically generate a three and a half to four percent yield as well as the capital growth that we focus on as well. Um, and I think that's, that's definitely a standout feature for the fund and a lot of our clients that have bought the, the fund and, and bought into the process like that particular feature. So it is all about change, it's all about business transformation and I guess that starts from the top. Um, you need to see a recognition from the management team of the company, from the board, that something different needs to take place, a different approach is needed. Um, so it starts there. Um, often starts with a new chairman uh, at the top of the company who then thinks about the type of leadership the company needs. So then it, it sort of rolls down into new chief executive, uh, new finance director, maybe even deeper changes uh, at the head of each business unit. Um, so it's management change first. I think that's a, a prerequisite for this process. Then it's about the strategic changes that are implemented by that management team. Uh, and we typically focus on the right type of changes. So focusing on the right things, becoming more operationally efficient as a business, but then um, becoming a more stable business, stable earnings, and converting those earnings into more cash than previously. Um, and, and then doing better things with the cash, better capital allocation decisions across the organisation. So real focus on cash, real focus on improving return on capital employed and then the long term good of the business, how to re-employ that capital to grow again. Uh, I think it's rewarding on many levels really. There's kind of the financial component and then there's the sort of operational component of the business and you know the sort of softer elements. I'll, I'll start there if I may. Uh, it's quite rewarding to see companies that at the point in time that you invest in them are sometimes going backwards. Um, there are question marks about the strategic direction of the company, about what they do, how they're doing it. Um, and that's often associated with sort of lower morale internally in the organisation. So it's quite rewarding to see the transition of that company from sort of, um, uh, sort of maybe not going backwards necessarily, but sort of uh, not progressing as an organisation to one that's progressing, uh, to one that maybe is growing again. Uh, where the staff are sort of proud to be associated with that company again. Um, with that in mind, we do, when we look at the management teams of these companies, we do think about how they're going to run the business, the principles with, with which they'll run the business um, internally and externally, and the internal things around ESG scores and factors, um, not just about that, it's more the social element, uh, health and so safety, employee engagement, um, the principles about what the company wants to be. So that can be quite rewarding if you see it um, uh, as successful and you see those transitions take place. Obviously financially um, where shareholders are concerned um, it's very rewarding if you get it right. Often when you invest in these companies in the first instances they are on very low valuations. Um, there is typically deep scepticism about what's going on within that company, how they generate their revenues, whether they can grow again, um, maybe too much cost in there, some margins are low. Uh, and expectations typically in the stock market are quite low about um, what might happen next with those companies. If uh, the business transformation is executed successfully, then typically that results in um, sort of better operational structures that unleash higher revenue growth, unleash higher margins, more efficiency, more cash generation. And all of that should transition through ultimately into um, higher ratings for the company, higher earnings base first, and then higher ratings for the, for the company, whatever metric you want to use. 
uh, and of course that therefore can be financially rewarding. I think the hardest thing about change investing is the uh, patience required um, to really get it right. Uh, lots of these transformations take place over a long period of time. Um, it requires a lot of conviction as well at a point in time in the early stages where uh, it's possibly difficult to get that conviction. Um, you are predicting um, a brighter future for a company based on a set of uh, strategic initiatives from a new management team that you hope and expect to work, but you don't have that evidence behind it. Um, it tends to be that you're investing at a point in time where uh, there aren't that many people that agree with you in the stock market. You can see it in share price terms. And so the analysis might be quite backward looking, might be quite skeptical. We recognize the business can change, but we won't change our view until we see it. Um, and so it can be quite a lonely place. I think it's a mindset that you have to get yourself into, that you're not thinking about the here and now. You're listening to what the management team is saying and thinking about how that might translate into uh, financial and operational changes in the business. Um, and that's quite tough to do. I think you just have to have the right mindset to, to be patient, to be disciplined, um, to be contrarian, not for the sake of it, but because you understand that you, you have to be at this point in time, and then to have a sort of three to five year view. Fund's been going uh, nearly 11 years, so in June this year it'll be 11 years, and there are some stocks that have been in the portfolio since inception, so to some degree we're still learning about how long a good business transformation story takes. Um, I think the successful ones, now that we look back over the 10, 11 years, the successful ones ten, that transition from sort of transformation through to stabilisation through to growth, um, Ha tend to be in there for sort of five to ten years. I think we can sort of say that it takes between five and ten years for those stocks to come through.